good me jello lovers it's that time again where we get to leave our business and mind other people's businesses Social media is buzzing right now after Tema aka Wild Babes announced that she will not perform at the Hype Tour which was slated for her to perform alongside Ella Injuchi, Dremo and Zeze Kingston. Tema stated that she won't perform due to technical difficulties beyond her control. Social media got people thinking Tema has pulled out because she has history with Zeze and people were quick to judge that maybe Tema can't stand Zeze and Dorothy Shonga who are always moving together and getting Gumbi Zubanda Mabigo in all functions. <laughs> For weeks, Zeze is always invited Dorothy on stage, introducing her to his fans as our Mlamo, and before she leaves on stage, signs out with a kiss always. Wow. And Twandia Gumagi is on our stage. Talking about Zeze and Dorothy, Zeze proposed last week on Dorothy's birthday. Finally, Dorothy is completely out of the chef. What's her Gumango means in Amate? Catch my damn Ababa or fire. Soon, she'll be Mrs. Kingston, or rather Mrs. Jingamba, since that's Zeze's real name. Yomabs broke the record by filling up the Hero Stadium last weekend in Zambia. Yomabs, who will be headlining at Mingoli Music Bash on 22nd of July at Grand Business Park, has been pushing his show for months and his effort didn't go in vain. Zambians came out and gave out maximum support. Malawians, please, let's learn from my neighbor. We need to one day fill up Grand Business Park this coming July, not just filling up nations with babies. Population Ijebe. However, there was station last month when other events organizers really released a poster of another event where they invited Kofi Olamide and was on the same date that Yomabs had his event. But later the event was moved a day before Yomabs show. The fire came out even more when Mizukanji, who is Olio's baby mama, was seen promoting Kofi's show. People were on Mizu as why she was not supporting baby daddy and even minus that at least she should be supporting Olio's sis he is Zambian. But others were backing her up saying hustle is hustle and baby daddy Gunyumba solution. Anyways, congratulations, your maps. And wait a minute, was your maps wearing a Malawian flag? Kabena zango fana na mitundu. That's for you to judge. Prophet Habakuku has resurrected again months after calling out for prayers after a lady he named Menai Mlenga choked his 8,500 Malawi kwacha. Prophet Habakuku was passing through tough times and his followers helped him pray for him and last week he was spotted with another lady which made people to rejoice that finally the spiritual father has moved on. The picture was trending but the prophet came out and said that was not the love of his life. And that she is just a sister in Christ who asked for a picture for remembrance. We saw one of the followers of the prophet Tana aka Broken English help the prophet to spread the message that all we were seeing on social media is fake and that people are only trying to tarnish the good reputation of the senior prophet. Malawi has come to an agreement to never take sides of people who were once in love after Mr. Pemperon Pande and Ketula have been on each other's shoulders the past weeks. Mr. P was seen begging his ex-lover for an invitation to her show to a point he had to ask his fans to help remind Ketula where they are coming from. Was it a way of promoting the show? Ketula as a soft being gave Mr. P the invitation and they were even seen at the room together after the event. Mr. P was quick to say he went to the room to congratulate her for the sold out show. Wow. Out of all places, why the room? Anyways, Sirizalawela Songkanizan to Odi Marubiana and Jana. That's what Malawian said. We can't run away from the fact that Tula as Pemperokoha has a soft spot for Mr. P and so is Mr. Z. Basi put a ring on it. However, we think Mr. P is better off being Ketula's friend or boyfriend than manager and they did well to break up in the first place. Jifuwa Chibanda break up, Saganavida USA and find my manager Jisungu. But we still can't overlook the effort Mr. P put up the time he was managing her. Anyways, congratulations local girl for the successful show and also the marketing strategy of using Mr. P paid off. So kudos. By the way, Ketula didn't make it to Sand Arts Festival saying due to reasons beyond her control. Kuma Malawians were quick to judge that it's because Mr. P was in her room after the show, the Anadoba. After all, she had two million from Mr. P. But if you ask me, I think Malawians, you are overthinkers. Give the lady a break. Vama boza, filekeke. Antwa sendane gurumu basi kalenkan. Wait a minute. I'm just coming from Ketula's page. I am so sorry, Malawians. You are not overthinkers. Ondinene gudinane didi mgulama overthinkers. Awawa anava na sugar and dabi. 
Ketula just posted a picture on Facebook Ali Mwe in Mr. Z's arms and she seems to be comfortable in his arms. Looking at the comments, it seems I wish you guys had rumoga ndipo ambili akukumbo kila mangi so umwana muuza kuti should be a fool to go back to his ex love. I'm a fool, yes I've gone back. unfinished business with your ex it's fine to get back together it's not about what people will say it's about how you feel pempel on pande from kurum to congratulate ketula now they're at the lake i think they're still congratulating each other should we say this is true love or mr p is manipulative kabena let's just say there's always that one is there's been a heavy debate on social media as to whether Nyauyu has hips or wears she thickly jama hip. This came about when the entertainer posted a picture that she was hosting a wedding at Sunbread Capital Hotel, but the thigh clean was showing. People concluded that she was wearing chimtem when the jama hip. Whilst others were backing the drama queen up saying she naturally has an amazing shape. I don't need Nyauyu to prove haters wrong. I think people don't believe a comedian can have a sexy body, that's why. We tried to check on Nyauyu's page to see her reaction, but all she asked was is the thing called a cycling cycling or cycling kwalisha kana kumva yeyo aona kuti ali ani nawo manya ufans in her kingdom kuti awapulumutse show them who you are queen we have been watching coming to america for such a long time and it's now time for americans to watch coming to america that features doc this week doc announced that he will be touring america south bend is on the list this excited a lot of people as they expect to finally see jb together with doc and a lot are also expecting to see jb perform at doc's event few weeks ago jb went on facebook and told us that doc called him to appreciate him for his songs and that jb songs helped dog in 2012 when he was passing through a difficult phase and today they have been searching which of jb songs mwena ndi jaya ndi mabonda akazi anyways what do i know after chakwera who has made men of god to see value in politics tb joshua luka like prophet david bewe has resigned on all religious body position as he prepares for dpp presidential election last week we covered that gospel musicians are flocking to secular industry who so men of god have left the calling kutamangira ndale Anyways, now you're calling. Ndiye kumada abulo akawina ku parliament kuzikavumbuka ma professe kapena ma delivery services. So vuda. We pray success all round. Finally, if you are involved in ugo channelism, usaelekeze kupita ku Uganda ukati akongo. Yoe Limu Seveni has devised an anti-LGBTQ act which is meant to punish all getting involved in homosexuality. For homosexuality, the penalty is even death. And there are other penalties like 20 years and revocation of licenses for radios that promote such issues. Uganda, wachema. Anyways, do let me know what you think about today's juicy. My name is Felista Ngwira. Do not forget to buy your tickets for Mingoli Music Bash happening on the 22nd of July 2023 at Grand Business Park. Standard tickets are going at 10,000 kwacha and VIP are going at 35,000 kwacha. If you are looking for a ticket, Till next time, the queen is out.